You welcome back. You're watching the news on Galaxy TV. Let's stay with security matters as following the directives by President Muhammadu Braito, the military service chiefs to be decisive in dealing with terrorism and ending insurgency in the Northeast. Without further delay, security expert Dr. Roy Ohidive and legal practitioner Tunde Abdul Hamid say the government needs to take proactive steps as giving others alone is not enough. Speaking with Galaxy's Valerie Choma, Roy says giving orders alone can't work as it is not proper to put security heads at a spot. On his part, Tunji opines that the government needs to, be, to better equip the security operatives in the country. Yeah, it's, a, it's a good call. It's a good call to, as a commander-in-chief to speak in a way that people you are fighting will be afraid of what you are doing. Uh, but giving a call alone, it will not be enough to resolve the issue or talking about it or directing them or giving them order is not enough to, to resolve the issue on ground. There are a lot of things that have not been done. The, the issue of um, machineries, and, and when I talk about machineries, I'm talking about equipment to be used by our military men. Are, are, they, are they there? So you are putting them at the spot. And it's not proper to put um, security heads or agencies at that kind of spot. Because um, a criminal eradication system, it goes beyond combativeness. Okay, the first thing that we we'll expect, without giving the instruction to the service chiefs, is to start a judicial process and start to penalize all those that have been caught, arrested in the act, found one thing with enough evidence to penalize. Meanwhile, Tunji insists the government needs to stop having negotiations with bandits as this would only encourage more crimes, while Roy calls on the government to pay more attention to the judiciary. First of all, those who will fight the war should be made comfortable. They should ensure that they are comfortable. In, I'm talking in terms of, in terms of uh, their welfare. They, their welfare should be paramount, and they should be as at one deal. They should ensure that we have uh, adequate and uh, sophisticated equipment, modern equipment, to face the, the people who are fighting the war. They, we should ensure that people who are committing crime are brought to book. The attitude of uh, negotiating and uh, giving assumptions to to what's it called to criminals we will only encourage crime it will encourage more crime because when you kidnap and you are asking for ransom and people are saying they should not call you criminal what should we call you the first thing to do is to make sure you have a judiciary the cases that you have now let them go to court you see this thing that we are doing by by compromising and giving it any kind of connotation we are killing the judiciary the judiciary should penalize then if the state want to forgive let us know that the evidence before us certain persons who have found one thing for acts of terrorism found one thing for acts of banditry found one thing for any kind of act then you want to to pardon it's a different thing